A lady on the street is threatened by a robber, but she doesn't fear him. A man named Big Henry steps in and saves her because she is a doctor who runs a free clinic in Crime Alley, helping many people like him. Afterward, Alsley Thompkins returns to her clinic. Soon, someone enters the clinic with injured hands. He tells Leslie that Batman advised him to come to her if he ever needed help. The boy explains that he encountered Harley Quinn, who once brought the Joker to his family's restaurant that night. The Joker killed his parents. He had a chance to kill Harley Quinn, but he didn't, and now he's struggling to make sense of his decision. Leslie asks his age, and he reveals he's only 17. She advises him to do things that an ordinary 17-year-old would do, like playing video games or going on dates. The boy agrees, saying video games make sense to him. Three years ago, he was playing games when his mother got angry and told him not to lose himself in fake worlds. She urged him to stay in the real world and help his father. His family ran a restaurant, but one day, Harley Quinn came in with the Joker. Later, the Joker released poisonous smoke, killing his parents. After the incident, Batman came to apologize to the boy. But the boy demanded to know what Batman would do to ensure the Joker wouldn't hurt anyone else. Batman made him a promise and gave him a bat sign. But as time passed, nothing changed. The Joker's gang returned. Burning down buildings and torching the restaurant, there was no sign of Batman. And the boy kept telling himself that Batman would show up and do something about it. One day, a neighbor's boy came to him for help. When he saw the Joker's gang killing people, he remembered his mother's words. In a fit of anger, he threw away the bat sign and decided he wouldn't rely on Batman anymore that day. He resolved to protect people himself and not to run away. He started killing members of the Joker's gang and became known as Clown Hunter. He asks Leslie if she would let the Joker live. She tells him that the Joker is a tough case, but yes, she would. She believes he's as human as the rest of us, and that somewhere deep down, his humanity can be reached. Before the boy leaves, Leslie demands to see his face. The boy reveals his face and tells her his real name. 